I'm going to show you how I link a stock worksheet to the Yahoo Finance website. I'm going to start off trying to link up stock AAP. What I want to do is start off by putting my starting cell location to be A1. I want to make sure that I have the data tab selected and I want to select from web. When the browser comes up, I want to put in the link that's going to go to the Yahoo Finance site and the AAP stock. And you notice that when that website comes up, there are a number of arrows that highlight certain tables. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a section called Earnings Estimate, the Earnings History, EPS Trends, and Growth Estimate. And you notice for every one of these sections that I select, they have a green background. The ones I have not selected stay yellow. And when I'm done, I select Import. And I'm going to have it import into location A1. And you'll see that it's going to pull that data down from Yahoo. There it is. Next cell location we want to go to is cell G1. And this is going to hold our historical stock prices. So I will again go to the From Web link. I'll put on our stock. I'll select the historical prices link. And then I will select the table that has all the stock prices. I will select import. And it's going to go to G1. There it is. There's our historical stock prices brought in from the stock. Uh, the next one I want is going to be location 01. And that's going to hold our Yahoo ROE figures. So I'll go back to the web. Put in our stock. I'm going to browse to the section called Key Statistics. And I'm going to select the area called Management Effectiveness. And you notice that it's the return on equity that we want to use in our best of the best filter. I will import it to section 01. And it brings it down. There's our ROE. So that is how I link my stock worksheets to the Yahoo Finance website data.